Hey guys, I hope you are having a great day in your life and that you're doing something you love. It's raining here in East Tennessee and I've been really busy running back and forth to the new house trying to get Cassie Lee set up. But I'm going to be out doing some metal detecting soon. As soon as I get the house set up a little bit more down there, I'm going to be looking for some new spots to find Civil War stuff down there. So stay tuned. I promise there will be more relic hunting soon. But today I wanted to try a method of preserving Civil War belt buckles that I have never tried before. And it's something that I need to do uh, to two belt buckles I have here. One is a breastplate and one is a U.S. Uh, belt plate. And it's typical of these lead-backed Civil War belt buckles to deteriorate very poorly with the lead and I, I believe that might be the dissimilar metals theory going on there the brass front and the lead back there there are different types of metal so the corrosion rate becomes much more uh, amplified in that instance and I think that might be why the lead deteriorates so badly on the back of these plates but having said that we're going to use a little method today that involves uh, Elmer's Glue All, which is available at any big box store, uh, a soft bristled paintbrush, and some water. And it's going to involve basically taking the glue, thinning it down a little bit, and painting the back of these belt plates, letting it dry. And that will preserve these belt plates in a way that if in the future someone wants to use some other method of preservation, you can easily remove this glue all by steaming it off um, and other methods, but it's an easily removable but semi-permanent fix to a common problem with Civil War belt plates. So let's get into the process real quick and uh, I'll explain anything else I need to as I go. Okay. So this first belt plate is a U.S. belt plate. I found this hunting with the aqua chigger and there are pieces falling off of it as I handle it right now. Um, and this one, the face of it's cracked up pretty badly and it may be when you use this process better for you to have a little box of sand that you can set the relic in to get it positioned properly so that it doesn't break while you're trying to attempt this process. But I think that I can pull this off today right here on this cardboard and that's what I'm going to try. So we'll start with that one and try and preserve this belt plate. So we're just going to start by getting a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to water this down some with some water here. To where it becomes smooth enough where I can get it to run into the cracks and crevices on the back of this plate. I'll try and do this left handed so you guys can see in this camera here. Now this should dry clear. Um, you shouldn't really be able to notice it too much. So hopefully it will give us a good result. Let's give it a shot. And just try and work it into all the little cracks and crevices. Make sure you get full good coverage on there. And like I said, don't worry about it being white. It will uh, dry up nice and clear. Okay, I think that's good for the belt plate. Now let's move on to the breastplate, which there's a lot less of the breastplate here, but surprisingly the lead is a lot more stable on the back of this breastplate. Um, so let's get started with it, and we're just going to repeat the same process there. Um, water down the glue, make sure we get all the cracks and crevices, and let it dry.
Okay, now we're just going to let these dry for about an hour and we'll check back in and see how they look. Okay guys, it's been about an hour now since we coated the back of these two Civil War belt plates. And as you can see, they look pretty good. You can't really tell that anything's been done to them. Um, I will say by rubbing my finger over the back surfaces of them that they are a lot less crumbly than they were. And I feel they're a lot more stable for uh, display now than they were. So it works really great for the back of those belt plates. And I know a lot of people say in my videos, well, I never find Civil War stuff. And that may be true, but this can also apply to some other relics. Um, a lot of rosettes that went on the side of horses' faces, like this, uh, they had lead backs as well, such as this one. And they might need that sort of preservation as well. A few other items that you might be able to use this preservation technique on are pewter buttons or little lead crumbly buttons. Um, a lot of these when you pick them up or handle them they will be very crumbly like that as well and they would be a good candidate for this same treatment as well as old pewter uh, spoon bowls and things like that. Any type of crumbly pewter or lead I think this treatment will be really great for. So I hope you guys learned a little something on this day in the life. I certainly did. It's, it's a treatment that I'll probably use in the future for anything else that comes up like this. So have a great day. I'll see you in tomorrow.